You all did something extraordinary in November. You voted in record numbers. You voted to improve the lives of every Georgian. And you voted as if your life depended on it. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to do it again. A day after the Electoral College confirmed his presidential victory, Joe Biden traveled to Georgia on Tuesday to campaign for two Democratic U.S. Senate candidates whose January 5th runoff elections could make or break his domestic policy agenda. I need two senators from this state who want to get something done, not two senators who are just going to get in the way. Because look, getting nothing done just hurts Georgia. Look at what's happening right now in the Congress. The United States Senate should have passed the coronavirus and economic relief package months ago. Biden's narrow win in the southern state in November's presidential election completed its transformation from Republican stronghold to one of the country's most competitive political battlegrounds. Republican Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler are facing Democrats John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, respectively in twin races that will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate when Biden takes office on January 20th. Georgia sent Donald Trump packing. And now we're feeling hope in our hearts because for the first time in four years, we have the opportunity to define the next chapter in American history. We say all the time that elections have consequences. But I have to tell you that after going through what all of us have witnessed these last several months, some 300,000 American souls that have now perished, to say that elections have consequences feels like a gross understatement. Biden's trip to Atlanta comes nine days after President Donald Trump traveled to Georgia in support of Purdue and Leffler. If the Republicans win either contest, they would maintain power in the Senate, allowing them to halt many of Biden's ambitious legislative goals on issues such as the coronavirus, the economy, and climate change. A Democratic sweep would give the party control of the White House and Congress, where it also has majority in the U.S. House of Representatives.